What's good, YouTube? You're now tuning in live with Marky Gaming, coming at you guys with the very first episode of my brand new series, Pokemon Duel. And that's just the name of the game. Go look in your um, App Store, your Google Play Store, search a Pokemon Duel, and we could go and play together and things like that. So since this is the first episode, I would just like to do an introduction, nothing special. Um, the introduction is introducing myself as a player into this game. As you can see at the top, my name is Mark, and my in-game name is also Mark. But I'm thinking about changing it to Mark E so we can distinguish myself from all the other Marks around the world playing this game. So that would be cool. That's my avatar. And a little dark skin with like the kind of Super Saiyan-ish hair. Um, I am currently in Masters League, which is the highest league. I believe I can click on this and it will show. So yeah, I'm in Masters League. And yeah, um, I'm not going to be doing like beginner videos unless this series like blows up. This is kind of just a way for me to record some duels. Maybe record some matches with... Uh, some subscribers, some followers, because we do have room matches. And, uh, yeah. So, i just like to introduce you guys to my team real quick. Um, if you guys play the game, you should know about these, uh, Mons. That sounds weird. I don't like saying Mons. Just my Pokemon. Uh, let's go to Dex. So, this is my Trollin' deck. That's not complete yet. Almost there. This is, a. Uh, a deck I'm testing out just in case this uh, Dragon Cup ever happens. And this is the deck that I've been using since about 21, 2200. I know I'm only at like 25 something, but that's a lot considering how much I lose because of powerful decks. And my deck, it's alright. Um, it has some good cards, but you know, I try to find the balance. So right here, we have Magikarp level 5 with Gyarados. You know, how to evolve them. If you don't know how to evolve them, you got to win a battle. But Magikarp is a very special case in which if it loses and gets knocked out, um, it can evolve without sending it to the PC. So that's pretty cool. Gyarados is a monster. Can I click on it? Oh, I can. Hyper Beam. Storm, you know. Um, pretty good. Level 4. Everything's level 4 except for that magic card because going from 4 to 5 is a lot of work. Um, we have Salamence. Um, just a very solid figure in my opinion. Can be replaced with another EX with some other Mon. Oh god, there I go again saying it like that. But um, you know, I, I what did I used to run? I used to run Lucario. I used to run Gabite. You know, other things like that. So... This deck is not finalized, it's just, I'm very half and half with this deck. Maybe a little bit like 60-40 in terms of victories, but this deck is pretty good. And this guy, this alien I guess, um, Deoxys Attack, very powerful. Um, you know, it has the ability to, to force your opponent to respin. I know it's not that great now that Metagross got updated and rebalance where you can't respin but still a psycho boost 130 attack with a 51 out of i believe it was 96 spaces so that's well over 50 percent maybe like 55 i'm not doing the math in my head or anything but yeah psycho boost powerful dimension slip and eh, if you get it you get it. it sucks but yeah so pretty powerful greninja a beast. I used to use um, Frogadier. I think that's the second one. And evolve it into Greninja. But then I think I just needed Greninja more often than not. And I couldn't wait for the evolution. Greninja is my only Pokemon in my deck that has 3 MP. So he's like my runner slash attack getter outer. Thing like that. Especially with Water Shrook and very, very powerful has a huge thing as long as as long as um, you know the other person is rolling purple that's fine other than that the only problem with the water shrooken is that it has very low damage but the second ability is pretty good too that you know any opponent's Pokemon that's next to it 
um, will also spin, and if they spin purple, they're knocked out. Back. Then we have um, Moltres. Moltres. Pretty good. You know, Sora can fly over Pokemon, but with two, it's not. It's okay. Could be better. But when it was at three during the Flying Gym Cup, super broken. I got this Moltres through the Flying Gym Cup. So that's pretty cool. Got one of the featured Pokemon during that. And I also got that Deoxys during the um, the Psychic Gym Cup. Is that what it was? No, it was the Fighting Gym Cup. But the Deoxys were the sponsored Pokemon. So yeah, Roost is all right. Recovers all status. Flame Charge, pretty powerful if you know how to use it. You know, some people, I, I didn't even know how to use it when I first started, but I learned. And if you guys have questions, feel free to ask me. I'm not, I don't know everything about the game but I strive to know and become very knowledgeable in terms of this game and last but not least I have Curlia Psychic Fairy Ghost Sensor for that Shuppet um, counter also has very decent uh, damage and attack it did wonders in the fighting gym cut because it had attack plus 20 and um, it would de defeat those Machamps those Lucarios those um, Greninjas it could actually still defeat Greninja as long as it doesn't roll the Water Shuriken versus my Psycho Switch. So yeah, um, it does evolve into Gardevoir. Come on, click on it. Click on it. One more time. Okay, let's just tap it. Nope, see? Shouldn't have held. And Gardevoir becomes powerful when it evolves, you know, every attack plus 10. Um, the warp hole gets another star and things like that. But yeah, this Curlia, it will evolve if you get Psycho Switch off. So that's a very good thing too. And my plates, two hurdle jumps, one double chance, one X attack. I don't know. I, I like it. It works for me. So yeah, um, different things work for different players. So this is the deck that works for me. Um, I can show you guys the cards I have or the figures um, yeah so scrolling down I got that Squirtle you know that insane withdraw Poliwhirl's getting those ready you know if I ever pull a Manaphy got a level 5 um, Shuppet right here super cool and it has the CP level or CL level Goodbye is someone I use a good amount as you can see I used Pikachu a lot, the Pikachu that they give you, but it's it's okay. I have a bunch of these Sylveons, so if the fairy types are powerful in the Dragon Gym Cup, we'll see what's up. Got Triple Weavile, maybe I'll try to make a deck with that, surrounded like that. And here are all the EXs I have. Two Snorlaxes, a Venusaur. I have a Chestnut, I have another one in my gift box. Two of the normal Deoxys, triple Latias. I got, I had one, like since the start of the game, and it was my hardest hitter ever. But then you know, as you go up the leagues, and you don't want to use it because it can, it's it's a bigger double-edged sword than Deoxys because at once, you know, that fly away and that missed ball, it's powerful. But at the same time, when it dies, it becomes a 6-on-5 matchup, and that could really hurt. But I pulled two more during the Fighting Gym Cup. And just to end it off in that thing, I um, I used Triple Latias, and when it worked, it was the most OP thing ever. And when it didn't work, whew, it was like two figures to like four every time. And there was no way I can get all of them out of my PC. Or the ones that have died and actually went there. So here's some of my um, Pokemon. If you see any of them that I should keep. Or any of them that I'm kind of just wasting space. Let me know. I know these Weaviles are powerful. But yeah. So that's my little introduction. Um, you got the timer for the boosters. You got the locked boosters right there. And yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please let me know. If you guys like this video, because I will probably uh, upload more, you know, it's just a matter of being able to record these because sometimes a duel can take so long and sometimes I have epic battles and there's no way for me to replay them 
because they don't have a save feature. But yeah, um, right now it's kind of like a downtime. Because there's no gym cup, and that's kind of nice because um, when there's a gym cup, you know, you're kind of on this thing as often as possible whenever you have the energy because the gym cups are so good and I recommend everybody to like just just play it whenever it pops up because it'll it can give you a good amount of Pokemon EXs rares things like that just from winning one battle or you know going on a streak so yeah this is Pokemon duel it's pretty fun maybe on the next video I'll record a duel and show you guys how this deck works so like I said please let me know your thoughts on this game any recommendations, any thoughts and things like that that you think I should do. And if you don't like the game, I apologize, but I do. And I will upload as long as I have the time to record. And yeah, we'll see if I can keep this new upload schedule. I'm trying to go Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and try to implement some things. But we all know we'll just have to see. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And... Thank you guys for any support from here on out. And also, thank you guys so much for all the support previously, since the Z Fighter days, since the Dokkan Battle days. And now we finally have a new game. I know that Super Mario Run game was, was a flop, and I actually don't even play it anymore. But hindsight is 2020 or something like that. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you on the next episode of Pokemon Duel. Bye!